and the chief officer of Wenaz in Mombasa County. What can you highlight as the major achievements you made in those uh, two counties? Yeah, thank you, Honorable Yemeni, for the question. Um, through the chair, I'm very proud of the work I have done in the both counties and outside. <coughs> While well, we consider uh, some of the achievements uh, that might be relevant uh, to this conversation is one, I was responsible for automating the revenue collection systems in Mombasa. Mombasa County is one of the counties that has an integrated revenue management system which can be accessed through a web port, a USSD, and a mobile app. And what we did, all the services in the county in terms of revenue can actually be accessed from one app. And this has eased, or it has enhanced, ease of doing business in Mombasa. For those of you who have been following, Mombasa has received a lot of recognition, not only in Kenya, but worldwide, for its efforts in terms of ease of doing business. That is the number one thing I would consider as my achievement. It has not been easy. Considering we, we, are taking, we have taken a county that was basically operating manual systems, that was bad with a lot of high turnaround time, inefficiencies, and loopholes in terms of linkages where revenue performance was significantly and adversely affected. Secondly, Chair, what I would consider, and I'm very proud of uh, as my achievement is, I spearheaded an economic diversification program in Mombasa. That is the implementation of a special economic zone in Mating. Mombasa County is one of the counties that has traditionally been relying on tourism and logistics as one of the economic drivers. And both were actually adversely affected by COVID-19. And we were part of a team, I was part of a team that actually came up with socio-economic engineering program that actually saw Mombasa implement its first special economic zone that we basically place Mombasa in the global, global map in terms of market for export, while at the same time enhancing its competitiveness and also creating opportunities for employment. Chair, uh, during my time, we are also proud of this increase in revenue collection that was reported uh, during that period. And uh, we raised uh, the revenue from 2.9 billion to 3.6 billion. Of course, we had not met our revenue targets, considering again those who have 